switch to my wait. I'm just gonna switch to my headset fan hi Jason can you hear me I sw I just switched to my airpods I don't know if I'm heard but I have my um, overhead cam. This is just a chill um, live stream because I wanted to try uh, the glass pen that I bought some weeks ago. And um, hi, Margie. Thank you. Margie, can you hear me? Malakas ba yung boses ko? Is it clear enough? I don't know kasi kung if it's clear eh. I hope, I hope naririnig ako. <laughs> Baka mamaya, I'm, wala na naman akong ano, what do you call this? Wala na naman akong uh, audio. Wait. Wala din kasi ako moderator. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Anyway, this is just going to be a chill live stream like what I have been doing before. Um, except that yung before ko was like a silent stream. But this time, I'm going to do art. So just going to practice how it's done um, with the use of a glass pen. A glass pen is this. Ito yung glass pen. Um, may swirl siya sa dulo. Usually, this is being used uh, for lettering or calligraphy by some artists, but I don't know how to do calligraphy 
Um, so what I'm going to do is use this alongside uh, watercolor painting. So I'm just going to prepare some stuff. Uh, we can also use this like for crafting like we have um, for those who will be watching this on the replay uh, we can also do this um, by utilizing yung mga die cuts or cutting dice natin on paper we can use watercolor paper and then we can color it instead of if you want you can also use um, watercolor brush on this instead of the usual distress oxide or distress ink Ganon. So, the materials, I've already shown you the um, glass pen, but I have a couple of paper here. Uh, this is, I've tried it yesterday. So, this is a Montmartre watercolor book. Uh, it's... A5 size, tapos 190 GSM. So, mga oh, ganyan. But the thing is, pag nabasa siya, madali siyang kumulubot. But it goes back naman um, flat after it's it's dried up. So, I was practicing uh, watercolor, uh, wet on wet style. So, ito yung dati. I think this was nung time ni Gigi when she had uh, a live stream before that I joined at home. I think that was the coffee, coffee um, live stream. This one naman is this is a mixed media madilim ba? nag na nga ako ng dalawa. This is this is mixed media paper. This is by Magnan, ano, Magnani? I think I bought this from Art Bar. If not Art Bar, uh, from Pop and Pigment. Hi, Master Red. Thank you. So this is, this is okay because you can use this for acrylics, watercolors, and all that. So you can also use this type of paper. Um, I already did some die cuts. This one is using the watercolor paper. Um, meron siyang konting mga linya because I used... I, I did the stamping earlier. I used a no line um, by... Ito? This is by Honeybee. So no line stamp pad. Para when you color the image, hindi nakita yung lines. Not like when you use a black ink for stamping. And then this one naman is just a die cut of a leaf. So I'm going to use this in a bit. Of course, we have, apart from the glass pen, I'm going to use just the um, normal, regular, paintbrush because I'm not really into painting talaga. And then two containers, one clean water and then one for washing your brush of its color. Yan. I'm just going to put this here. Madilim ba? Oo nga eh. Hindi ko kasi inoon yung isang, I don't switch on the i have two uh what do you call this lamp oh, parang chinese lantern type of lights but i only turn on one because cool lang ang aking uh what do you call this saksakan ang outlets i'm just going to um put music so that while I work, we have music naman. I don't know if this is... Ayan. Naririnig kaya. Let me just check if this is connected via Bluetooth.
connected naman. Pero hindi ko marinig. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me double check. Ay, parang wala. Wala din kwenta yung aking ano. Hi! Hi, Rich Vibes! Good afternoon to you! This is just a chill live stream, Rich. Because I'm trying out uh, a watercolor style. The angle of my camera is kind of weird. Let me just fix it. It keeps on wobbling on the other side. How was your birthday, Rich? I know it was your birthday the other week or last week. How did you spend your birthday? I'm just gonna put something. Oops. I accidentally switched off the my phone. Okay, there. I'm just going to fix the angle. There. It's still the same. There, I think that's a, a, a bit better. Oh, I have a timer. Oh, no. Why is there a timer here? Okay, thank you for telling me. Let me just... Because I did my scenes in a few minutes when I got home. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Oh, that's good. Did you spend it um, in the UK? Or you traveled to spend the, your birthday with family? Okay, let me just get the... I don't think the music from my phone is heard on my RCP or Roadcaster Pro. Not too sure. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to start by coloring this, this one first. I'm just going to see because I've tried this yesterday and it's okay. So the style is wet on wet. So that the color, so I'm just gonna wet the entire paper of the die cut image. There, and then I'm just gonna add color. Do you do, do you paint, Rich? Do you do art? Sometimes it's nice to try out new things, especially new skills or art um, style. So that we can see which one 
uh, we'd really like to focus on or do as a hobby. Oh, she's the artist. What does she do? Does she does she, does she do acrylic painting, watercolor? I know your forte is in music. Oh yeah, I also love Canva. I enjoy Canva. I just renewed my membership for Canva. I only use it for um, for doing my thumbnails and also for other artworks. I tried to use it for digital journaling, but journaling on physical paper uh, is is better for me. So something like that. You you paint you paint on paper like that. And then the way I see it, other people would use the glass pen. Let me just dip my brush here so that it's clean for the next color. And then while it's wet. We can use the glass pen to etch lines on it, like that. So instead of using a very, very fine brush to make, um, to put lines on your image, you just use the glass pen. Like that. Oops. So there, yeah, it acts like a very fine, a fi fine tip brush when you use your glass pen. So the lines are very subtle. Of course, the basics of using glass pen is you don't, you really have to be careful of the tip that it doesn't break, and then um, as much as possible, you clean it in a plastic cup. So that when you swirl it in the cup, it doesn't, the tip doesn't come into contact with another glass that it may break. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me just wear my glasses because I could not see the screen. <laughs> so, there. Hi, Zell, sprinkle with cards. This is just a chill stream. I'm just uh, trying out how to use a glass pen on watercolor. So very subtle lines, um, depending on the pressure that you put on the glass pen. Oh, she does paintings. That's nice. So it's still it's still within the family. You might have. Um, you might have it in you that you can, you know, do art also if your sister does art. And so I've used it on a die cut that I used earlier. So the next one is this one. This is actually, 
a good idea is to get the image where I got this from. This is an image from Outing You. This is the original image. So I just did the die cut of this, um, a portion. So I don't want to do the whole thing. <laughs> it might take me forever to finish it. My watercolor brand, I always use Prima. I have Prima, different palettes. I have another watercolor brand in the tube, but I haven't um, used that. I think that was part of Nanette's kit. So I use Prima. So I have them here, like the small um, square tubs here. So I'm going to try and see. I already stamped this. Again, I already stamped this with a honeybee. No line stamping because I want, when I watercolor it, I don't want the black lines to show like what we usually do when we use distress ink or distress oxide. So I'm going to see if if I can do this with the watercolor. Sayang naman hindi na rin yung music ko. I tried to connect this on Bluetooth but with my roadcaster, but I don't think my roadcaster can hear it. <laughs> so sad. I have no music. I cannot hear my music. I don't know why it was working earlier. Bluetooth. Well, it's connected to the roadcaster pro, but I don't know. Did I mute it? Check. Di naman. It's really not heard. Anyway, it's okay. I don't need to use. I'll just switch off the um music because it this will drain my battery. So yeah, and I'm going to do watercolor on this and maybe copy the colors and this is gonna be my like my cheat sheet. Let's just see. So let's use this first so wet on wet again it's wet on wet I'm gonna wet the paper ay pag winet mo pala nakikita yung line oh galing naging dark yung line ng no line ink oh, magic it's like magic it wasn't it cannot be seen kanina but when i wet the paper now it can be seen so i'm gonna start with here Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> we'll see. So when you do wet on wet, the color, once you put it on the paper, it just spreads out on its own.
Je, dame. Then the green. Oh, yung pangat ng pagka-green. Oops. Ako. The important thing is, na-try natin. So, while it's kind of wet, you just, um, ano kaya to? Biglang nag-appear yung lines. So, you just do your lines. Like that. Well, while it's still wet. Okay. So, this acts like a fine, fine tip brush. Diba? Nagkaroon siya ng lines. Nakita yung line ng no line stamping. Kakaloka. Sinikit. Pa-stress yung kulay, ha? Hi, Lala! No, it acts like I don't put color on the nib or on the swirl. I just, you know, when, once the paper has uh, watercolor on it, I just put lines on it and it acts like a fine tip brush. Like this. No color, I just, you know, it's like making an indentation on the paper and then it just follows the color that you put on the paper. So, parang ganyan. Diba? Nagkaroon siya ng lines. For practice, let's see. Like what I did yesterday. Mga wet on wet. Wet on wet style. Niya ay gagawa tayo ng leaf. And then do like that. Mas manaki yung better kasi so, that, so like that and then you just pick color. You have to be fast. So that while the paper still has wet water on it, you can already so that it combines with the color you already put. Wet on wet. Ay, naku, napadami. Shocks. So, yung yung water ang gaga, magpapagapang ng color sa paper for you. Like that one. Okay. 
just let it spread because of the wet um, paper. Mabra naman ang water. So while it's wet like that, just a sample um, for the glass pen. And then this doesn't have any color. And then you just draw a line on the paper. So it just follows the, the color that you have on the paper. If it's yellow, it's going to draw the yellow. It's pink, it's gonna follow pink. So there, it just makes an indentation. So instead of using a fine tip brush, you use a glass pen. It's pretty neat. Something that we can use in our crafting also. You can also do um, doodles. So there, something like that. See, nag, nag, uh, ano siya, the paper kind of curls when it's wet but once it dries once it dries up it goes back to its flattened state like this this was pretty curled when i did it but now it's kind of almost flat So like what I was showing earlier, this is like a die cut of the Altenu cutting die. And I that's what I did also. Wet on wet. And then a glass pen. I really don't know how to use this using the calligraphy ink. Um, but when we were at Miss Susan's house, while we were fixing her craft room, she got rid of so many things and one of the things that she gave out was a set maybe i should learn calligraphy no since i have this now a set uh the inks four colors and then there's a glass pen here and a holder but the glass pen uh, Lala got it because she doesn't have a glass pen yet, although she has lots of ink. So we shared this kit. She got the glass pen and I got the inks. So maybe one of these days, Lala will do a live stream on calligraphy. <laughs> and thank you, Miss Susan, for sharing these things with us. I don't know why she gave it. Does she is this like an extra? Anyway, so there. My procurium paper. Because it's still wet. So parang ganun. You can use it even for doodling. Like if you just want to do some doodles, like maybe square. And then mm -hmm. 
Nakukulang palagi yung... Pag ka naman naka-livestream ako, tsaka naman tumatahol tong asong to. So you can also use it for doodles. the bag sometimes even if you're not you know an expert on these things when you do it it's it's kind of relaxing like if you do it on your own um, on your own free time like when I carved the eraser block it's really relaxing um, you just listen to music or a podcast So wet and wet, let your water spread the color for you. And then we use, we just do some doodles. Hi, Ria. Ria, do you use a glass pen? Um, do you do calligraphy? Oh, yeah, you do calligraphy, right? Do you use a glass pen? We just make some doodles. So, walang ink. I don't use any ink on the nib. I just use the color that's already on the paper, courtesy of the watercolor. Tuloy natin. Miswell tayo. Yeah, ganyan lang. It's like doodling. Diba? You kind of um, indent, make indentations on the wet paper and then the ink will follow the indentations that you made with your glass pen. That's why it appears that uh, color came from your from the tip of the glass pen when in fact it's really the watercolor itself. Something like that. So it's one one way we can use um, glass pens on watercolor. Pang ano lang, la lang. <laughs> Pausuhin natin. Gawa pa tayo. Masarap siya pang dudo. Actually, I already made a sketch of something but I'm afraid to do it on a live stream because I want to be careful because um, ang tagal kong ginawa yung sketch. Mahirap siya i-replicate. So maybe after the live stream, I'm gonna check if I can do it.
Meron pa ako ibang collection dyan, but um, hindi ko pa binubuksan yung ibang palettes. And I just wanted to use this one more. Parang walang pinagkaiba yung isang kulay. You can also make dot dot and put other colors on some areas. Here, I'm going to make glasses. Oops. if I can put the yellow amongst the orange. And then this one. Eh, dummy. Ayan, wet pa lang siya. And then, enter, enter the glass pen. While it's wet. So, we'll just put some lines. Well, let's see. You have to be also careful when you put some indentations on the wet paper because when it's a wet paper, it's kind of madaling masira because it's wet so medyo alalay lang something like that So, kita naman. Oh, shocks. Oh, you have to be careful of the tip. Okay, let me just put it here. My notebook, um, I showed earlier. This one is Montmartre watercolor book. 190 GSM. It's kind of soft, but once the paper dries up, it goes back to normal the other one is a magnani this is a mixed media naman 
mixed media paper. You can use this with acrylic and also watercolor. This one is ay, hindi, hindi pala ito. Ito pala yun. Ay, no. This one pala. Oh, ano yun ba? Nalito tuloy ako. Ano ba yung kinap ko dito? What did I cut here? Ano yung papa ba akong kinap? Parang ito lang naman. Let me check. Para may kinat ako na mahaba-haba kanina. It's gone. Where did it go? I was gonna color that one also. You see, maybe it fell. It's not here. Ayoko na mag-die cut. Kasi ilalabas ko na naman yung machine. But, uh, for the magnani, the, this was the one that I cut. Which I couldn't find anymore. The Magnani, I think I I found this either in Art Bar or in Pulp and Pigment when we were there last year. But this is kind of this is really thick because this is three hundred GSM and it's really for mixed media. But it's ring, ring type. Hi, Jason. Hindi, hindi ako magaling. Alam nyo, nanonood lang ako ng maraming maraming nagwa-watercolor sa Instagram, yung reels. I just watch them. And then, ginagaya ko lang. Alam mo, gaya-gaya po tumaya ako, di ba? <laughs> ginagaya ko lang pag minsan yung mga technique nila. But of course, you know, you have to do this on a constant basis so that you improve on this skill. Because if not, hindi ka mag improve talaga. So, it starts with practice. This one I got from Shopee because I found an artist who was using this type na merong perforated air ano line. So, I asked her where she got it. So, she told me, Shopee. The Magnani, you can find that in Art Bar. I think Pop and Pigment owner is also the owner of Art Bar. Hindi, la. Nonood tayo, tapos gagawa din tayo. <laughs> Ay, ini-sketch ko, oh. Ayaw kong kulayan ngayon, nahiya ako, eh. Tsaka baka magkamali ako, hindi ko na maulit yung sketch ko. Mamaya ako na lang gagawin, tapos ipopost ko sa ano sa Instagram once I'm done if I get to do this but this is like monochromatic this is going to be purple I'm going to try na wala yung deny cut kong isa sayang naman so yun ni eh. hindi ko alam kung saan napunta I was gonna color on it punta. Ay, ayun. Nakita ko na. Shucks. Nakaipit pala dito. Okay. Nakita ko na siya. Ayan. So, last. Last, last, last. Going to color the end. Anong color ng brown? Ang green. Pagka green niya. Actually, hindi siya masyadong green. Parang siyang yellow green. So, instead, I'm going to use the other color. This one ba? Ay, shucks. I forgot to wet the paper. So, wet on wet. Again, it's wet on wet. So, I'm going to wet the surface. So, this is the mixed media paper. 
for that I just die cut using the physics cutting dies right here. So wet on wet technique, once it's wet, we pick the color. I remove my glasses because it's hard to see. Hindi siya mag-spread shocks. Nakatakot. Hindi yeah, mag-spread shocks pa. Again, this is wet on wet. Okay, so more brand of mine. So it's wet on wet, you just let the colors blend together. And it's just going to run. It's too small. I don't know if you guys can see. Ang dumi ng mat ko, di ba? activate ko lang to kasi medyo natuyo na siya. So itong taas is dilaw. In some parts Parang ganyan lang siya. Ang liit na no, pero tingnan natin. Kita naman. Pero masyadong maliit. Ay, isa natuyo na. Pag natuyo na, hindi na siya masyadong nagaano yung color. Kailangan habang basa. Eh. Hindi masyadong kita. Natuyo na eh. Something like that. One which we can use with our... Um, ah, when, you, when we use our cutting dice. For our cards or for our journaling. Hi, Makachinito vlog. I, I think this is the first time that I've seen you here. And so, parang ganyan. We can use this instead of using, um, uh, what do you call this, distress ink or distress oxide. We can use watercolor and then just use a glass pen. To put details on it and so this is one one style that we can use also for our crafting making cards um, and just put them here and ganyan lang it's 
So again, this is wet on wet. And while the paper is wet with the color, that's when we use the glass pen so that the glass pen can, can um, direct the color to the indentation that we put with our glass pen. There. So do you think, guys, we can use this for card making? Siguro dapat yung mga malalaking cutting dies. Yung the, the, the cutting dies that are really small, it's hard to uh, put the indentations. It's doable, but then you really have to act fast when it's still wet. Then we, we run our glass pen over the wet paper. Ito, medyo hinabol ko na lang, pero this is kind of dry now when I use the glass pen on it. So I it's kind of messy. But this one was still wet. This one was still wet when I did the, when I used the glass pen over it. Also this one, when it was still wet. This one also. There. So that's it. That's my live stream for today using a glass pen. So I hope you guys can also, uh, uh, try this if you have your own glass pen you can buy glass pen it's um it's really there are some shops that carry this um not as expensive i bought this from crafts central it's kind of expensive when i got this i think this was around 800 i think i thought when i went there it was on sale but the sale started the, the sale starts the next day when I went there. So anyway, anyway, I bought it because I didn't want to go back to the store the following day. But you can also find glass pens from uh, our online shops like Lazada and Shopee. Um, I'm going to put some links later on under the description because I didn't have time to put the links where you can find really uh, quality glass pen um there are two types of glass pen there's one that's uh the the swirls or the lines are vertical and not swirly like this this is this is kind of swirly i don't know if lala what you got i don't know whether it's vertical the the grooves or the lines on the tip is vertical or does it also swirl like mine i wanted to swirls because I don't know I just feel that the ink if ever I do calligraphy the ink will last longer because it will go on a swirl direction instead of directly vertical wise from all sides I know it's just a theory of mine but there are two types uh, of glass pen that you can use okay so that's all that's my live stream for today it's maker mondays so next week we're going to try another skill um also for arts and crafting i'm gonna try to learn other skills that we can use and combine arts like painting or acrylic with our crafting or card making also before i before i go i want to i want to uh flex <laughs> i want to flex the card that i made uh yesterday i mean i watched no on it i watched um gina k's guesting over at um craft roulette a swirl okay that's good but i'll time swirl i watched um gina k's guesting over at um craft roulette last thursday or fr that was Friday morning Manila, but in the U.S. they had they did that Thursday evening. So that was my first time to watch Craft Roulette live stream, and with the audience, they uh, for the people in, in the chat. If you wanted to, if you want to join the challenge, you also make the card depending on the prompts or the parameters that they set because they have like a wheel that they choose four parameters for that week 
So last Friday morning, the parameters that Gina K and um, Mary 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 Gunn uh, did were a project should be a hinged project of a card, and the color should be craft background, and then the element are elements that you can see outside your window, and then a random parameter is to use faux leather. So what I did was, um, I just pretended that this is like faux leather or ostrich leather. So ostrich leather is like um, made that dots, diba. Right? So I just made dots. I just did uh, this via um, embossing folder. And then I also utilized craft paper. And then I just stamped it, the background, also this one. I also um, sewn in the sides and then just die cut of a hello and then flowers which you can see outside your window and the hinge part is this one I just um, folded this like a flap and then I just used um, uh, what do you call this uh, magnet so that when you open it uh, uh, secret white heart is hidden underneath. So this was what I submitted for the craft roulette challenge for this week. And I believe this coming Friday, when they do another craft challenge or craft roulette with another guest, they will show the works of the people who have joined in. I believe Zell or Sprinkle with Cards also joined in and submitted her her um card because she always joins craft roulette i believe like what lala mentioned earlier so there i'm just uh flexing my card <laughs> so thank you thank you for joining me this evening i'm sorry hindi ako makapag um face cam because hindi naka set up yung face cam when i got home i just did my scenes and my poster or my thumbnail and my and my scene and switched on the computer and that's it this was like a really rushed job <laughs> so thank you for joining me thank you jason you are the first person to be in this um live stream and also uh, guys you can join the craft roulette challenges and they do it every week I, they do that every week so if you want you can watch the craft roulette and they do it every it was just last week when they did it on a Thursday which is a Friday morning in the Philippines but they do their craft roulette live stream on Friday evening so that's Saturday morning Philippine time so I hope you can also um, try and join their challenges. It's fun because you get to see other people's works also and you get to flex your own work and, um, you know, be visible in the crafting community. I'd like to say thank you to Jason, who was the very first one who uh, was in the live stream. Um, I believe he's at work right now. And also Margie, Rich Vibes, and Master Red, thank you for being here. Sprinkle with Card Zell, thank you. And Lala, I know you're very tired. You had a full day and it's time for you to rest up because you have something in um, after midnight. And also, Ri, who was here a while ago. Ayon. Siya pa ba? Did I miss anyone? So, ma catching ito vlog also who dropped by. First time I've seen his ID here. So, I hope Monday always sets the mood for the rest of the week and I hope you have a great Monday and a great rest of the week as well. So thank you and I'll see you again next week. Bye!
Franny. I'm calling you because I just listened to your music. Girl, you were kicking it. <laughs> I enjoyed it, friend. Oh, I have Robin and I'm listening to it too. So we'll talk later. Bye bye.